Jumpstart Pro now supports strong customer authentication, or SCA as it's known, with Stripe. We've updated all of our JavaScript and backend code to the latest Stripe APIs to support SCA. And this is gonna make it so that whenever an SCA card is used in your application, it can be checked to see if it needs authentication with the customer's bank. So here's an example test card number that we can use that requires SCA and we see the authentication modal pop up here. The user will be asked to confirm this maybe by two-factor authentication on their phone or something else that's determined by the bank. Once they complete this authentication, the process will go through as normal and the card will be added to the user's account. Now, this is called a setup intent where we're setting up a card to be used in the future. However, if we want to make a payment, we actually have to use what's called a payment intent by Stripe. They call it that. The payment intent is for an individual payment and a setup intent is for adding a card to be used in the future. Here we already have a card added to our account, but if we were to subscribe here, the subscription will be created in Stripe and in our database, but it will be marked as incomplete because it has not been authenticated. This test card number is one that requires authentication for every single action you use it for, and it will be taken to this payments page to authenticate this payment. The user will be asked for the authentication to confirm that they want to pay us $25 and so on. If we fail authentication, we'll have to put our card number back in, but this page here is actually reused when a subscriptions payment in the future requires authentication. So nine months down the road, your bank could say, hey, we want to confirm that you still want to be paying for the subscription and Jumpstart Pro will actually email the customer and then take them to this page to fill out their card and confirm their payment and their subscription. Now, these changes require a status to be added to subscriptions. So we have that in Stripe and in our application, and this requires webhooks to actually make it work in development. So because of this, our subscription is now marked as incomplete locally. And if we go to our local host again, We'll see confirm your latest payment in the nav bar up here because the user has not finished their subscription. That link will take them to the payment page like we've seen here and it will allow them to finish the payment and complete the checkout of their subscription or mark it back as active if this has happened in the middle of their subscription at some point. So the way that we keep track of the status updates on the subscriptions is by webhooks and we have a tool called the stripe cli that we can now use you can install it with whatever command you need but once you have installed it and logged in you can run stripe listen forward to localhost and the port number 3000 and webhook slash stripe is the url for that that will point to the uh, webhooks url in jumpstart pro this command's going to spit out a signing secret and a bunch of logs when webhooks come in so you will need to add that signing secret to your Rails app. You can either add that to your credentials for development, or you can add the Stripe signing secret environment variable here and paste that in and then run the Rails server. We've added this so that you can add that to your Rails server very quickly. And this key will change every 60 days, I believe. So you'll need to have something kind of dynamic here, and it's nice to be able to use an environment variable to change that easily. You can also use your credentials, doesn't really matter. You have both options available to you. So once that is up and running, the Stripe webhooks will come through when you fill out your payment and update the subscription to active. If you don't have that running, your subscription will be paid, but the status in your database will actually be still incomplete. So webhooks are now required in the development environment to make everything work with SEA. So now if we go through and update our card and complete authentication, we will see that the payment goes through in Stripe and we can go back and see that our subscription is active. Our pricing page has gone away. And if we go to billing, we'll see that we're now subscribed to the small plan. And that is because our webhooks have come through and updated our subscription.
The webhooks also allow us to sync the receipts and charges to our database whenever they come through so that we can generate PDF receipts for them as well automatically in development. So everything here is now going to function very much like production because we have the webhook connections that normally we weren't using in the past out of convenience. So now that it's required, it actually makes the development environment a whole lot nicer. So that is strong customer authentication support for Jumpstart Pro. And if you wanna learn how that works, I've recorded a course on this at courses.gorails.com. You can check out the payments with Ruby on Rails Masterclass. And we go through all of these different topics and explain how one-time payments with Stripe works now and subscription billing and how we build the payment page and the emails and all those other features that you might be curious about. So take a look at that course if you wanna learn how this works. Otherwise, you can just buy Jumpstart Pro and dive right into accepting payments with SCA support.